Other education news now. The University of West Florida has a new president. Four finalists were interviewed today before the Board of Trustees selected the candidate who was already on campus. Here's Catrice Nolan. It was standing room only at the University of West Florida as decision of the next president was one that will affect the institution for at least the next three years. One by one, they came to the podium expressing their concerns for the next president, most of them in support of current university provost, Dr. Martha Saunders. I am here today to ask the Board of Trustees to listen. Listen to all of us who have served under Dr. Saunders and choose Martha Saunders to be our next president. Of all of them, without exception, our current provost, Martha Saunders, has been the best, the most efficient, and the most inspiring. Even a signed petition of over 300 students presented to the board against candidate and state senator Don Gates. We would like to petition the Board of Trustees to discourage you from electing Don Gates as university president because we are Argos against Gates. Even the threat of police removing a staff member for going over time. And look at the qualifications. There is only one candidate. One candidate. Yes, sir. One candidate. I hope you will vote for Mr. Chair. So much emotion in the room, but when it came down to the vote, the trustees spoke. Nine for uh, Dr. Saunders. And we have for Mr. Gates. Thirteen members of the board in a nine to four vote chose Dr. Martha Saunders to lead the university. The four votes going to Senator Don Gates and no other votes to the remaining two candidates. Saunders says she is ready to take on the task, especially when it comes to the voice of students. It's important for the president to have a, a student advisory group. They would not supplant the student government, but a group that's close to the ground with an ear to what is on the minds of of all kinds of students. A role she will take on in January. Reporting in Pensacola, Catrice Nolan, the CW55 News at 9. And Saunders previously served as president at the University of Southern Mississippi from 2007 through 2012. A legal battle over beachfront property in 